Hello and welcome. This is Kenneth Wong and this is a video review of Space Claim Engineer 2009. This is meant to complement the text review of the same software that is now available at Desktop Engineering's website. Let's take a look at the sketch mode of this software first of all. As you can see, this is a very similar system that you have probably seen in many other CAD systems. It is a 2D plane and it allows you to create your circles, lines and arcs and enter the dimensions that you need to complete them in the precise dimensions that you want them. So once you have got your profile, things become a little bit different. Now you are able to push and pull the surfaces of the profile in order to create a three-dimensional object as you can see here. Now in space claim, the easiest way to remove materials or create a hole in a solid is through creating a surface and pushing it into the negative direction, as you'll see me do here. The way it allows you to use imaginary planes to chop up a piece of solid into several different parts is also, I say, pretty easy to do. As you can see here, I've just created a surface plane and I'm going to use that surface in order to split this solid that I have created into two different solids. And there you have two different solids now, folks. You can also rely on the software to help you maintain the relationship of a lot of the surfaces that you are manipulating. For instance, here, I have just selected several surfaces and rotate it. And I've also selected several surfaces and push it into the back. This is where we create a patterning. So what I just did is create a protrusion of a certain feature and I'm just going to push it in the direction of one axis and enter the number of instances that I want this object to appear. And there you have it, four instances of the same feature appearing on the surface. I find that it's also fairly easy to create rounded corners and rounded edges. As you can see here, what Space Claim allows you to do is to select a particular edge and then basically push and pull to create the round of a certain radius that you would want. This is a SolidWorks part file that I found at random by searching through 3D Content Central. What I'm doing is opening it up in space clean and modifying it. I'm going to select those two holes and move them down. I'm also going to flip it around and select another surface and move it in the opposite direction. In addition to that, I'm also going to select these two edges and give them rounded edges. Okay, it's a pretty dramatic, but I think you get the point. In the space claim, there is a feature called 3D Mockup. We're going to try this out here. So what I did is basically open up the part that I've already created and 
and select a surface that is going to work as a plane on which I want these dimensions to be projected. And then simply picking and choosing the features that I want to dimension and drag them out. One of the features that I think is going to be of very helpful to a lot of the people is the prepare tab and all the buttons that are beneath it. As you can see, there are a couple of easy buttons that allows you to basically check the integrity of the part that you have created to make sure that there are no gaps, there are no split edges. As you can see, Space Claim is not exactly a parametric software. But this is a powerful software that allows you to directly interact with geometry and create the features that you want without thinking too much about how this feature was created and where a particular feature might be modified in a history tree. In fact, there are no history tree in Space Claim. But it is something that allows you to directly edit, manipulate the geometry of the parts that you receive through push and pull methods. I think it is a worthy addition and a good addition to your CAD arsenal. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering.